Hi YouTube, this is the Presidential Tourist back with another food review video. And what I'm doing is, um, it's a root beer, frost, uh, uh, I thought it was frostbite, but it's frost tie. It's, this is the diet one, I didn't see any, um, regular. Now i never seen this, this brand before, so either it's a new one, or it's an old one that's been around for a while, and this particular store has happened, just got it, or it's been there, and just never noticed. But I thought I would, um, give it a try and let you know what I think. Like I said, I didn't see any regular, but I'm sure there's a regular version of this. This is sweetened with Splenda. No calories, no caffeine, no carbs. Naturally and artificially flavored. 12 fluid ounce, 355 milliliters. And I bought it in a four pack. This was $2.99, I think. I got it at uh, Publix. So if you have a Publix near you, you might find it. I'm sure it's at other stores too. Let's see. Um, yeah, calorie zero, total fat zero, sodium 31 milligrams, total carb zero, sugar zero, protein zero. That's reading the ingredients, there's not a lot of it. Carbonate water, car, uh, caramel color, sucrose, this is Splenda, sodium benzoate, uh, preservative, natural and artificial flavor, citrus acid, yeah. Frost Tie is a resident trademark of Frost Tie Root Beer Co. in Detroit, Michigan. Yeah, I hope. Okay. Let's give this a try. I like I like root beer. I don't drink pop very often anymore. Once in a while. Yeah, you definitely hear that. Ooh, you know what? That's very nice smelling, very um, root beer I guess you could say. Yeah, I really, really smell that. What was it? Um, I think root beer is supposed to be like a vanilla flavor pop. Yeah, I definitely smell that flavor. Let's try it. Not bad. I know I really don't care for diet pop too much. And again, like I said, I don't drink pop a lot anymore, but for a diet, uh, root beer is actually not too bad. You still get that diety taste that um, most diet pops um, usually uh, have. I'm still, my favorite one's still like A&W, something like that, A&W root beer. But this isn't too bad. Could be a little sweeter. Yeah, definitely a little sweeter, I think. It's not bad. I don't know if I'll get it again. Um, but um, you may want to try it and let me know what you think. It's okay. But it's definitely not the best root beer uh, pop I've ever had. And I had several flavor kinds. Was it Barks, A&W, Dad's Root Beer, um... A few other uh, main brand names and some generic ones, of course. But anyways, like I said, it's not bad. This is uh, Frost Thai Root Beer. It's diet. Sweet and Splenda, so you might like that. And um, let me know what you think. Like I said, I bought it in a four-pack. This is rare, actual glass bottle. You don't see pop in glass bottles too much. And when you do them, they're mainly as a novelty now. But uh, let me know what you think. Alright, YouTube. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, please put them below. I'm always happy to answer your questions, and I look forward to talking to you again soon. Bye, everybody. Bye.